everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I will be documenting this photo of my sister and I, and felt like this beautiful girl squad pattern paper worked really well with my photo. Now this paper is pretty busy for my taste, but I still love it and still wanted to use it and felt like maybe I should use my big shot and cut out a large circle right in the center back it up and that will give me some space to stamp or add embellishments and it will also mute down the busyness of this pattern paper now when i was editing my video i noticed that i even went ahead and cut out a circle with my yellow pattern paper and i thought to myself why did i do that i could have really like did a shortcut and just cut a piece of that yellow paper and just backed up my pattern paper with it but I guess when you're creating and you have something in mind, you're just going for it and you really don't think much about it. But anyways, once I am done with that, I'm just going to use that circle to back up my smaller circle on my pattern paper. So I really felt like I needed to stamp in this large circle. So I'm going to use my We Go High uh, stamp set from Kelly Perky and stamp out Here's to Strong Women and the future is ours. I just felt like the pattern paper with all the females, this photo of my sister and I, it just worked out really well. I just felt like I needed to use this stamp set. So I'm going to stamp out my little title right in the center of my circle. I want to use my scrap paper to create these strips of colors coming down my page. Now I decide to do this because my pattern paper is really busy and I always recommend that you choose a few colors from your busy pattern paper to add to the opposite side of the page. It really helps balance everything out and it mutes down the busyness from your pattern paper. So all I'm doing is using my scraps to create these little uh, strips of paper and I think I end up using three. I also decided to use the yellow because that really helps uh, bring in that yellow from the left side of my page. While I was adding this strip of blue pattern paper, I decided I need to remove it, trim down my paper, and then add it because it was really hard for me to figure out where my pages ended. So once I trimmed everything down, I go ahead and stick it down and everything works out beautifully. And I will stick down the left side of my page. I'm gonna start working on layering my photo and I'm really gonna keep it simple. I decide to keep it simple because of my busy pattern paper. So I'm gonna end up using some white tissue. Uh, I believe I use some uh, yellow and white pattern paper, of course, all scrap paper. And I'm just gonna keep it really simple. So I'm gonna go through my little scrap bag. I've been asked a lot how I organize my scraps and literally I have three bags, a small, medium, and large, and I do not um, organize by color or pattern or anything like that. I just add the small ones in the small bag, the medium in the medium bag, and the large in the larger bag, and that's how I keep my scraps. I find it to be the easiest way, um, especially when I'm layering because I know I just need a little piece, and when I need a larger piece, I grab my larger bag. 
But anyways, I am done with my layering. I'm just going to staple them together. I told you it's going to be really easy and simple. And then I'm going to start going through my embellishment drawers to add some embellishments to my layout. Now I start by using these really cute silver puffy hearts that I got from Freckled Fawn. Um, but I end up changing that heart later on. I just felt like the silver was kind of off. So it stays there for now, but I will move it later. I also do end up using my triangle puffy stickers right in the corner. I've said this before, they are my new favorite and I feel like they really add a nice little touch to my layers and my layout. Um, then I'm going to grab my flower drawer and start adding some flowers, some word stickers, and I believe I end up adding one of my little flat pack circles from Feed Your Craft. So this is where I decide I don't like that silver heart. So I'm gonna remove it and add that little black and white heart that I had on my photo. I'm just gonna end up using that one right above my title. I still feel like my uh, layers need a little something. So I'm gonna go back into my puffy sticker drawer and add some banners and a little flower right on top of my photo. I'm going to finish my layout by adding some black crystal drops. I'm just going to add some on these strips of paper and also right under my title and then I call my layout done. Don't forget I add everything I used in my videos down in the description box. Just click that little arrow and you can find all the links for all the products I used in my video down below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!